Welcome back everybody, it's day two. We stopped the video, we uh, tried to fit the crank and then I took it back. The air was a bit tight for me, so I just, just had to recheck the clearances. I'm happier with it now. And I'll start the assembly. Just make sure everything is clean. They're very basic to assemble, it's, it's not really a big issue. Take your time, work thoroughly, work through it, I'll put it on time lapse. I think for the day I'll be building the bottom end, I want to make sure I button up everything, all the bolts, oil pump, make sure the dust earrings are fine, oil channels, so they are clean. If I can have the bottom end bolt, I think maybe after that I'll take a bit of a break, come back, build one cylinder, build the other cylinder, and it'll be done. That's probably today, um, but certainly tomorrow morning. I want to install it tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Okay, so let's put time lapse and let's carry on. I'm going to drink a cup of coffee and have a quick break. Just touching on a quick note, when building the engine, there's a sequence of events that these things are placed in. Start number one with your gear selector shaft, gear selector drum, pin, and then you add your oil feed tube to your gearbox. Everything goes underneath it. And another thing, this little cotter spring that you have here, I would have a spare one because I've been working on the 650 motor. Let me just quickly get that one. Let me show you something there. When installing it, the spring presses at the back, right? But the important thing that you need to check, there's a little washer, it's got a dowel, little dowel in, I'm sure you can see it, there you go. So you might want to press it in and then think it's tight and you tighten up your spanner, but it hasn't seated against that little cotter in the, in the back. All right, so just make sure you have it properly installed. This is neutral, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. All right, as I said, make sure everything is clean. Build your way up, and we'll be doing next the uh, timing chain, and then we'll do the main drive gear, we'll do the clutch up, but first we'll get to the oil pump and the gear and the little chain. Okay, let's carry on. Let's say you're assembling the clutch. Gear, drive gear is in. Clutch assembly, oil pump. That has been installed. Uh, the one thing I want to talk about 
is the clutch plate. When you're installing a clutch plate, if you ever heard your motorcycle in gear, making a noise, pulling the clutch in, it's quiet, you can ride it, you're just not sure where the noise comes from, it's this little retainer here, right on the top. Right. I'll show you how we pack it in, but it's on the top and we'll start assembling the clutch a little bit later. Oil pump drive chain installed. This one needs a replacement. I didn't get one. I didn't have, but I'll try again at some stage. At least I can take off the clutch cover, get it out and install a new one. But yeah, for those of you who want to know about the clutch, I'll show that to you a little bit later. Okay, let's carry on. You might be wondering that I'm a moron, I'm not installing this correctly. Well, I am not installing this correctly, but I'll show you why I'm installing it like this. Usually, this chap is on there, right? We'll agree on that one. But, the big problem some of you might face is the center nut. Tightening the center nut is usually a problem where your clutch plates run around you can't get the thing tight and it's a mission people start taking chisels hammering the nuts I'll check quickly let me get the old one I've seen it hold on unfortunately the original one somebody has previously before me hacked it I removed this one off the 650 nut uh, shaft very neatly no problems came out nice so what I'll be doing here is adding a bit of gummy baby juice, our Loctite, and I'll fasten this, no no, and then I'll remove these and I'll put the plate back in. Then this stays stationary, you can actually take a spanner and apply a bit of force to it. You don't have to over tighten it, but apply the gummy berry juice it works. Right, let's carry on. Okay, well, that concludes our <coughs> assembly today. I wanted to do the bottom end, which I've done. Tomorrow I'll do the barrels and the heads and the cam timing. We will be installing these nice, new, fresh, well, not new, engineered, clean, seated, salted, new valve stem seals and everything, heads. The bottom end has been built. If you're working with bolts on your Africa Twin, in particular the flywheel side, if you're familiar with righty tighty theory, <coughs> lefty loosey, this one works differently. When you think you're loosening it, you're tightening it. Okay, so remember that. Don't break off the bolts. Tightening it actually loosens it. Loosening it actually tightens it. Well, that's it. Um, if, you, if you're building an engine, doesn't matter what it is it shouldn't be a marathon take it slow take do thorough work double check triple check your work add your jungle juice wherever required not too much of it you need to loosen it maybe at some stage again doing the top end bolt 
we'll be doing either the front or the rear first but remember the exhaust comes out to the back so don't think when you're installing pistons and I'll talk about that one tomorrow don't install them from where we are but I'll show you and we're gonna space the rings out properly okay well that's it for today by the time you see the next video on this Africa twin I actually want to complete it tomorrow I want to take a ride with it I'm not sure yet where I think what I'll do is I'll take Uh, a bottle or something, spin it and see in which direction it lands and that's the direction I'll take. It doesn't matter where it is. But it's going to be a bit of riding out tomorrow. No? Saturday. Let me finish this one up tomorrow. We have to get it installed first. Alright, uh, another video coming up is the Africa Twins trip meter. I'm almost done with that one. I'll show you how we do a hack to enable the speed. Okay. Cool. Catch you later, everybody. Right safe.